I started ballet because I couldn't sit still and my parents couldn't tie me down to the piano bench. So I, the more I did it, the more time I spent in the studio and the more time I spent performing on stage, the more I loved it. Elise Bourne, she was the ballet mistress at the time and she came to my school to set serenade. Um, a year before I joined, and um, she was kind of my connection to San Francisco Ballet. I came here and auditioned, took some classes, and I almost convinced my parents that I, you know, didn't need to finish high school to come here, but my parents were great because they made me finish my exams, and I flew here probably like a day after um, the season started, and and uh, started working. <laughs> Anytime you work with a new choreographer, they always have something different to offer, so you just, you kind of go into it like open-minded and take what they have to offer. Chris Wielden is very concise. He always knows exactly what he wants. It's nice working with Yuri because he knows us as dancers and he's always around. Like if he's here working on a piece, he'll take class with us. Um, I feel like he has a lot of genius ideas. Classical Symphony was a great challenge and I'm all for challenges, so that's, that's fun. I think I just love moving, like I love feeling movement and covering the stage and covering space and it's almost like when you dance and you feel like you know you're in a car and and, and wind is like rushing I was just happy that Renato <laughs> picked me to be in his ballet <laughs> it was fun having that piece created on Gennady and I and he'll give you the steps first and then he'll like explain like the meaning of the potata and what he wants out of it and kind of draw different emotions out of you. I get to do what I love and even though it's hard sometimes if you're so sore to get out of bed <laughs> in the morning like we we push each other as a company and I think other other dancers in this company inspire me to keep on going too